divisive. I was reminded of the friendship between Elliot and E.T. Every time anyone says mockumentary, immediately think, is it as good as Spinal Tap? And the answer is no. Very smartly reinvented a franchise, and who thought that was possible? It does the thing that cinema is meant to do at its very best, to completely immerse you, to transport you, to take you to another world. Words of Wisdom, the film review, Friday at 5.45 on the BBC News Channel. This is BBC News, I'm Martine Croxall. The headlines at eight. In this great tragedy, there is a unanimous conviction amongst all who knew him that Sir David was of the best. Let us keep silence. Earlier, a minute's silence was held in the House of Commons as tributes poured in for the Conservative MP. And while his death leaves a vacuum that will not and can never be filled, we will cherish his memory. We will celebrate his legacy. These tributes are a powerful testimony to the respect, the affection and, yes, the love that David was held in across politics and across different communities. South End on Sea will be granted city status in honour of Sir David, who had campaigned for the change. In other news, the former US Secretary of State Colin Powell has died of COVID complications at the age of 84. Our social media company is doing enough to tackle online hate, particularly towards women. We have a special report. And Ford is to invest more than £200 million in its Halewood plant in Merseyside, safeguarding jobs for 500 workers. Good evening. Welcome to BBC News. The Prime Minister has led a series of warm tributes to Sir David Amos, the Conservative MP who was stabbed to death during a constituency surgery at a church in Essex on Friday. In the House of Commons, MPs from across the parties lined up to pray.